Hey there, it's Rachel from All About The House. In this video I'm showing you how I use the Shop Shaper tool to batch edit my listings on Etsy. So I have two Etsy shops. This is my main one which is All About The House where I sell printables and planner stickers. So I'm pretty much like obsessed with making printables. Um, as you can see there's like 900 listings. So I wanted to update my sticker listings, all 400 of them, um, to include a link to my sister's shop where we sell the printed and cut versions of my printable planner stickers because people kept asking me all the time where they can find printed and cut versions. So I didn't want to have to sit there and manually go through every single listing, updating it, adding the link to her shop. I pretty much made me want to cry and be so depressed because I knew that would take literally days and it would be so monotonous and boring and I just totally didn't want to do it. So I did some extensive Googling and I came across a tool called Shop Shaper that would allow me to add some text um, within the listing. So you can override text if you want. So if I wanted to get rid of um, this, I could highlight all of this text, put it into the tool and say, I want to replace this text with this or I want to add um, some additional text. I want to just delete text. Um, so you can add and switch around your text and you can do that for all of your listings and it works really fast. It is a really quick tool. I can update all of my listings and it will usually take probably like an hour to do all 400 I think it took. Um, if you're just doing one it's really instantaneous. It is so cool and it's a free tool. The other thing that you can do is switch out photos. So if I wasn't using all five photos you can um, say you need to you know, add this um, picture to it to any listings that don't have all five photos. You could say I want to delete all of the second photo from my listing. So my sister got a different Instagram username which was plan with carefully crafted instead of just um, carefully crafted. So then um, what I need to do after this video is go out and delete all of my page two photos, um, sorry, all of my photo two position ones and I can do that in just a matter of minutes um, using this tool. Okay, so enough chit chat, let's get into the tool. So if you go to shopshaper.net, you can then download it for Mac or Windows. So once you've downloaded it, it's really easy to use. All you need to do is copy and paste it onto your desktop or you can put it in your documents folder wherever you want that's easy for you to find. It's not really like a software like Photoshop that you have to like download and install. You literally just download it and it will work like straight away. You don't have to really install anything. Um, it's kind of not like a software, it's like an app kind of thing. Um, anyway, so you just download it and then you will need to enter in, um, it will give you a link, a URL link. You'll go into your internet browser paste the URL link and it'll say do you want to allow access to this and so I'm going to use the demo with my other Etsy shop which is Paper Cravings so when you do that it will give you this like verification code it will be different to what mine is here you go into the software enter that in and then you'll be able to start doing your um, batch updates so this is the Shop Shaper tool this is what it looks like so this is for my shop Paper Cravings um, and then you can see all of your listings here all um, listed out so there's a few things that I love about this tool um, I'm not affiliated with the company, I'm not being paid to do this review, I'm just totally like addicted um, to this tool, it's so quick to do updates and it's free. You get a free 7 day trial and then later on if you need to make any changes it's like a dollar if you want a 24 hour access. So I've been doing that a couple of times because I've been progressively doing updates to my listings. So you can load by section, so let's say all of my listings like I did with my sticker shop, I just did all of my planner sticker listings and did updates to that so you can pick whatever sections that you want to update. You can also um, do like bulk updating so you could renew all of them, deactivate, etc. So let's say that I wanted to add, um, change some text on this listing here. So you just click on the listing and go edit selected listings. If you want to select multiple, you would just click that um, arrow, that box, sorry, up the top here. It's going to work. You just click all that and it'll highlight all of them. If you only wanted to do selected, you might be better off ticking all of them and then just unticking the ones that you don't want to do um, if you've got a lot of listings. Anywho, so I'm just going to show it with one. So just click on that one and go edit selected listings. This is the ladybug clip art in my shop, which is the first listing there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to update my um, the bottom of my listing to include my links to social media, newsletter update, etc. because I literally have not updated these listings in a couple of years, which is pretty bad. So if I scroll down to the bottom of this other listing, I updated the ones in my printable shop to have all of my social media links, website, newsletter sign up, um, etc. So that's what I'm going to do with this one because at the moment um, it's really like outdated. So what I'm going to do is left click and drag to highlight all of that text, go right click copy, go into Shop Shaper and then you'll see that you can do all of these things here. So for this one I'm going to change the text. So I want to go to Description and I'm going to go replace some text with and then I want to replace this text which I just copied. I just pressed um, Control V to paste it or you can just go right click paste 
and I'm going to replace it with the text that I've got in this listing here. So I'm just going to highlight all that, copy and then paste it and then I'm going to just change it um, to like visit my other printable shop, my other Etsy shop because this is for my paper craving site. Okay, so I've got this text here. The other things that you can do is tweak basically all the other variables of the listing. So you can um, change your title. So if you had a product like I do, like dated calendars, for example, you don't have to sit there and manually update all of them. You can go, okay, all of the ones that have 2016 on them, I want to update the year to 2017. So it's a really quick change, saves a lot of time. The other things that you can do is bulk change the price. So if you wanted to run a store-wide sale and you were stingy and didn't want to pay for um, the other tool, oh God, I can't remember what it's called now, it's craft something. Um, this is really bad. I did another tutorial on it and I literally can't remember the name. Um, I'll include a link below this video when I find it afterwards um, for how you can run a store-wide Black, uh, Black Friday sale. But if you wanted to be kind of stingy, then you could do it using this tool on their free trial. So you could set the price for all of the listings in the shop section or certain listings to change the price and then you could just change it back afterwards. The other thing that you can do is change like your tax rate, you can increase the quantity, etc. You can update your tags and your materials. So that's again good if you have dates. So if you've got like 2016 products, you can update it to 2017. Um, and then all of your materials as well. So if you've got keywords that aren't trending anymore, no one's searching for them, then you can simply update them. To find keywords, I recommend using Marmalade. It is another free tool that's specifically for Etsy. It uses Etsy data. And I'll include a link below this video to the tutorial that I did on um, that tool as well. So I use a couple of tools to run my Etsy shop. Um, so Shop Shaper, Marmalade, and that other one, which I can't remember the name of, I can't remember, I can't remember it. Um, anyway, I'll include links below this video. And then you can do the shipping, so you can update all of that. And then this was the photos I was talking about before. So if you click here, you can do add a photo. So one of the ways that I like to make the most of my listing photos is to add um, another one that has like a promo, sort of like more info, because people tend to look at the pictures, not um, read the description. So I've got like my blog link and then, you know, subscribe to my blog. I've got my sister's Instagram account to follow her if you want to know more about the planner stickers. And then you can also follow my Instagram account. So including all of this, since I've done that, I have noticed more people are following me on Instagram and more people are subscribing to my blog. So it does work. I have noticed that a lot more people um, are definitely signing up. And it was straight after I added these images to my listings. So I highly recommend that you make the most of your Etsy listings and use all five photos. That's one way that you can do it. Another way that you could do is to um, show some other products in your shop or do a collage board. I have another tutorial for that, which I'll include the link below that shows some of your other products or other products in the, in the range or similar related products, uh, bundles, etc. So use all five photos. If you wanted to do batch updating, you would click here and go add photo only if it has less than five photos. And then you could replace the last photo. You could delete photos or you could replace them etc so basically you can really speed up your shop management efficiency you just go select photo find it and it will show up a little preview here and then once you're happy with all of the updates that you've done you can then um, hit apply changes to selected listings one other thing that I want to note is that if you do a lot of variables at once it will take longer to run the updates and if you have some listings that for example had this already updated, it won't update, it will already have done it for you, but it also won't take into account these other variables. So basically what I mean is do one variable at a time. So update all of your descriptions, do all those listings, and then I recommend updating all of your photos and running it separately because it will be quicker. Otherwise it will take probably a couple of hours if you have a lot of listings to run those updates. So just update one variable at a time. So do your photos, select those listings again, do your description, etc. Okay, so once you've selected all of that stuff, you just hit apply changes and then it will come up with this little thing here. So it's in process, it's applying the change at the moment, now it's done. So if I go back to this listing and I will the ladybug one and go refresh, that's what it was before, it had this text here. And my computer's just loading. Being very slow. While that's loading, I'll show you this other thing that you can do. So if you wanted to update certain text within the listing, um, you could, for example, say I wanted to change this to, um, like I could left click and drag, and then I could just update that middle part of the listing. Or if you're going to want to add new text, I recommend that you take the last like word here. So you would go like copy sticker, 
and then you would copy that and then you would put in the text below. So I would go copy and then, oops, I'll just close that. Wow, my computer's being really slow. Okay, let's go back to the ladybug one. Cool, so it's updated. So now it's got all of my links there. When I hit refresh, if I go to one of my other listings, we'll see that it has not been updated yet. It'll still have the old links down the bottom. So that was my old one, and this was the ladybug clipper that I just updated. So now it's got all of this stuff here. So it basically took like one second for one listing. If you're doing a lot, obviously it'll take longer. So the other thing I was talking about before, if you wanted to add some text, you click on that listing, go edit. And then let's say that I wanted to change this listing here and add some more text. So if I go shipping is free and I copy all of that, let's say I wanted to add some more text above this here. So I would go add to and then you can choose like description before some text or after some text. So let's say I want it to go after all of this and let's just go, um, I'll just go copy this text here, paste it in and go apply. So you can update just certain sections of the listing if you didn't want to do the end of the listing. Sorry, my computer's really slow today. So we can see that it added the text here. If you're doing lines, keep in mind you'll probably want to press enter and then do it. Oh, I've got a spelling error. So that's another good thing. If you have a spelling error, you can just update all of them all at once. Close that. Come on, computer. No, nope, it's being really slow. One bad thing about this tool, every time you do an update, it'll reset and go back to reload all your listings, which can be a bit of a pain, but that's pretty much my only gripe about this tool. So let's say that I wanted to get rid of this text, click on that, and go remove from description, and then you would just click there and then go apply. So it's really quick, as you can see, it pretty much does it like straight away. There we go, it's gone. So that was pretty much instant. So that's how I use the Shop Shaper tool to update my listings. I'll include a link below this video to the tool. So it's free for seven days. Um, totally recommend it and just like batch update all of your listings. And then if you need it for like 24 hours, you can just pay a dollar. So I've done that a couple of times. Or you can do like a month or year, but obviously that's not as good value. I just do the dollar. And that's pretty much it. They have some tutorials as well if you wanted to watch theirs or you can rewatch mine again. Um, yeah, so I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Remember that tool is called Shop Shaper. So I'll include those links that I mentioned um, in this video to like Marmalade and the other tutorials that I've done if you want to go check those out as well. And if you want some more tutorials like this on some of the ways I use these tools to make my like behind the scenes running of my business more efficient, make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I also do a lot of graphic design and planner related um, videos as well.